Hello there monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging, and welcome to the range test of the Volvo XC40 P8 Recharge. Yes, that is a mouthful. But, welcome to the range test, and this one is going to be slightly different, because as you can see, there's still some daylight, and normally there isn't. Well, that is because, because of the COVID situation that is still going on, there is a curfew here in the Netherlands, so I have to be home before 9 p.m. And therefore, I started a little bit earlier, but the downside to this is that it is busier on the road, so I hope there will be no traffic jams or anything. Anyway, it is not going to spoil the fun. The car is being charged to 90%, and then we go. As usual, I will start with a 90 km per hour test, and that is to simulate the mixed highway and city driving. I actually have to cruise at 93 km an hour to match 90 km an hour GPS speed. And I gotta be honest, I started the test with 88% state of charge instead of 90% state of charge. And that is because, well, I do have a time constraint and charging to 90% would have just taken too long. Yes, it may only be 10 minutes, but that is 10 minutes I do not have really. So 88% is close enough. The weather outside is, it is around 10 degrees outside. The wind is starting to catch up and it is raining a little bit. So that does have impact on the range but of course we will keep that into account when i estimate the range for winter and for summer but right now let's just sit back this car is an excellent cruiser and enjoy the ride so i have almost driven an hour now and i have almost used 25 percent state of charge so let's check the trip computer to see how much we have driven and that is well, 85 kilometers in 25%. So if I do the range calculation based on these numbers, you will get a range of 330 kilometers. I mean, that is impressive. I mean, the car is actually doing a lot better than I initially thought it would do. I mean, we have a average consumption of 21.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Really impressive with, I mean, it is still well, it is spring, it is 10 degrees, so yeah, it is quite impressive. So let's keep on driving them. I am very curious where this ends. I just turned the car around and I've driven 109 kilometers and I've used 31% state of charge. So I'm still in that 320 to 330 kilometers of range. I'm very curious if the car will consume more driving the other way because maybe we had tailwind. I actually don't know. I can't hear more wind but this is a very quiet car, so maybe it's just not noticeable. But I'm very curious what the consumption will do if we drive the other way now. So last check-in before you see me at the charger. First, it started to rain again. <laughs> Second, I've used exactly 50% state of charge at the moment, and I have driven 173 kilometers. So the range actually increased to 340 kilometers. That is very good. So I'm back at the charger and I expected that this car could do around 300 to 310 kilometers on one state of charge in these conditions. What are these conditions then? Well, it is between five and 10 degrees outside and it did start to rain for the last quarter of the test. But I started the test with 88% state of charge and I arrived here with 30% state of charge. So that means I've used 58%. And on that 58%, I have driven 201 kilometers. So if I do the calculation, then you get a range of 347 kilometers on one state of charge. 347, that's actually very good. Because that means in summer, you probably get a range of 380 kilometers and maybe even more. And again, that is very good. Okay, then it is now time for the high speed run. And the high speed run is 130 kilometers an hour. But because we started earlier, uh, we have to wait a little bit because the top speed well, that you're allowed to drive changes at 7 p.m. from 100 kilometers an hour to 130 kilometers an hour. So I have to wait for another half an hour. And the other thing is, well, again, I have to be home before 9 p.m. So I can probably not uh, uh, discharge the whole battery with this test, but I'll see what I can do. And then I will get back to you with the results from home yes okay so i'm driving with the higher speed for quite a while now and it seems that the shape of this car is not really helping with the efficiency at higher speeds <laughs> where i was impressed with 347 kilometers it seems like the car will not do more than 
220 kilometers when you drive 130 kilometers an hour. So that's actually a lot less. But let's hammer it anyway. Yeah. Ho -ho! Power! Ooh, that is uh, way over the speed limit. 130, yes. So welcome back to my home studio. It actually has been a while since I did the high speed range test of the Volvo XC40. But here are the results. I started the test with 90% state of charge and I finished the test with 18%. So that means I've used 72%. On that 72% I have driven 146.1 kilometers. And if you do the calculation then, the result is 203 kilometers on one full battery. Yes, this car gets quite thirsty when you drive at higher speeds. Of course, it was around 10 degrees outside. So if you do this in summer with 20, 25 degrees, you can probably drive 220 kilometers. But still, yes, again, this car is thirsty when you drive on higher speeds. But anyway, that was it. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a like and do subscribe. If you did not, please leave a comment below to see what I can improve. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, do we continue?